16. An aerodynamic masterpiece, tested and proven superior for today's air combat arena. Optimized for high lift, low drag and maneuverability. A small lightweight airframe, driven by an extremely efficient high thrust engine. The F-16 is a magnificent aircraft that I've been regretfully ignoring due to its EA status. But today, all that changes, as we will be conducting a silly strike on the Persian Gulf at War server. At the time of this recording, the new CB-105 had been introduced for the Viper, so my goal was to fly to some objective and eradicate it with the new cluster munition. CPUs are an amazing weapon that, if deployed correctly, can create quite a doozy for the enemy. Now pair that with a bunch of other Vipers assaulting the same AO with two to four CPUs, and now it gets almost comical with the amount of spread that you have. It's got a good spread. The further away you are, the more shit you hit. In fact, you got a problem over here. You ain't even gotta look. You just turn. Wow, that's it. You ain't got a problem over here anymore. Anything that was even remotely a problem ain't there anymore, trust me. Quick recap for those of you who are not too familiar with CBUs. Traditional cluster munitions are designed to kill soft targets, but are a dumb bomb that leaves a dirty battlefield. This prompted the Convention on Cluster Munitions Treaty, where over 100 participating nations agreed on the ban of use on the cluster munition. The US, among many more, was not part of that treaty. However, what they instead did was invent a smarter version of the traditional cluster munitions, such as the CBU-97 and the 105. In terms of how it works, after the bomb pops open its doors, several submunitions are exposed which then separate and parachute their way down to the target area. At some predetermined height, the skeets expand out and the rocket motor fires flinging the skeets in all directions. The skeets will then scan the area as they twirl outwards and detect viable targets. Upon finding a good target, the skeet detonates and kills or disables the target with just a single hit. Any skeets that do not find a target will diffuse or detonate to leave behind a clean battlefield. At least in theory. So, me and the boys hopped on a server one night and tried to find a decent location to strike. Uh, Kasab, I think, is gonna be our... Oh, look at Kasab, there's like nine circles together. There's a BAI, BAI, all stacked together. Take a look at this BAI. This is a perfect strike opportunity. Like, you couldn't ask for a better target. After finding those stacked targets, we also found a large SAM site here that was not marked. So now we started to designate several people to strike separate targets all at the same time. So to strike the site at the docks, that's gonna be clean, that's gonna be Kamza. Uh, myself and somebody else, Arlios, will strike mm -hmm. the objectives, the five circles to the west. And then Hellrain, I'm gonna need you to strike the Sam site in the city to the west in that town. Uh, I get to commit the war crimes, huh? I see. It. <laughs> and he's not kidding about the war crimes because of the location of that Sam site. Oh my god. The SA, <laughs> this SA site is in. Oh dear, it's right inside of a, a town. With the planning out of the way, we loaded up our aircraft, inputted all of our coordinates, and waited for our long alignments to complete. All right, steer point nine. Remember to rock your steer points, guys. I'm rocking them. I'm rocking my I'm steer point. Right now I'm touching them. <laughs> touching them inappropriate. Oh, God. God damn it. I hate your the wall. steer point's rocking me now. Who? Running up. Mill. Brakes on. I'm off. Go for it. Hey, running up. It's about uh, brakes off. I'm off burner. Turning right. Yeah, there's a bit of lag going on. Turn speed. right zero four eight uh, smash three zero zero. Okay. 
All right, uh, I'm gonna hit the burner here in three, two, one, burner. I just saw someone negative, like, 50 yeah. feet into the Yeah, ground. I saw someone disappear <laughs> straight into the fucking crap. Yeah, everyone's popping around for me. And off burner now. I got wingman courtesy throttles set. Oh, that's why I'm not hearing anything. My RWR has been off this whole time. <laughs> Don't need that. <laughs> Ignorance <Yeah>. is bliss. <laughs> Man, you even asked how to turn it down in the beginning. I thought it was annoying you. <laughs> Oof. We had a very long flight ahead of us, and as expected, we would have to fight our way in and out of the AO. I've soft locked him. Yeah, I'm gonna keep track of him too. Yeah, I got him locked. Let's see if those friendly. There's two times friendlies engaging him right now, I think. Uh, those are friendly. Friendly is dead. <laughs> Fox Street, Mc31. Cool. Oh. <laughs> cool. That's straight up between them. Quite the shot. I'm gonna be ready. Miles. Uh, defense missile. Mac 31. Missile shot, yeah. You guys should have shot way earlier. Well, the other guy is out in front shooting him now. Mig 31's yeah. about to go down. Mig 3 is, the, is dead. He's dead. I don't know if the Maybe missile's trashed. Flash. I saw a flash, but I don't know if he's, he's dead. He's dead. He's going down. Missile's still tracking underneath me. Thankfully, the MiG died as soon as he shot, so this missile just passed under us harmlessly. I'll keep an eye on the guy off on the right as well, see if uh, our friendly goes down. Yeah, guy on the right is spiking me, so... Who's on the far right Thank side of the formation? Me. Okay, if uh, this guy fails to kill him, I'm gonna have you split off and just uh, fox that guy real quick. Okay. Alright, uh, clean. You're gonna need to engage the target off our right. He's okay. not dead, he's inbound hot. Split off now. We're gonna slow down so you can uh, catch up to us later. So I was keeping an eye on the data link and I was waiting for a friendly to kill that MiG. But when it became obvious that that wasn't happening, I had Clean split off to intercept the bandit. Now Clean took his shot, but he wasn't certain that he got the kill for it and he didn't. So he turned back towards us so that we can continue our flight. Thankfully, another F-18 saw the baddie and took care of the problem for us. Uh, clean, uh, meet up with uh, Kamza here once you're back with the pack. And we're gonna continue to do another 360 to give you spacing so you guys can go ahead in front of us, okay? We let Kamza and Clean get ahead of us for spacing so that they could engage the same threat before our arrival. Okay, we've uh, completed our last 360. Uh, we're pushing forward now. We're 19 miles out. That's fine, we're pretty far away ourselves. I've got a shot on me, I don't even know how it's going through from the right, from the right. Jink, oh, jink, jink now, jink now, jink hard. Okay. Oh. Unfortunately, Kamza was just in the line of sight of the sand that took him out, even through all of that lag. However, Clean managed to drop his load and bug out back south. Meanwhile, the CPUs continued on their journey towards their target. Everybody 12 miles. split off for your targets. Flare. 
Awesome. This target area looks good. Nail the shit out of my target. Oh, perfect shack, guys. Perfect shack. A whole bunch of circles just completely disappeared. <laughs> okay, Ras Al Kaiman. Ras Al Kaiman. Uh, land a 3-4. I'm switching uh, 2 4 9, 5. Comms 1. Raz Al Kaiman, Stinger 1 1's inbound for landing, runway 3 4. Uh, I'm on that right base. For, uh, correction, right down. There's a frog foot somewhere in the area. I'm just gonna hope that our air defense is gonna take care of it here. Thank you. 